Professional snow contractors know when you want to get more jobs done faster, a multi-position V-plow beats a straight blade any day. With the ability to change from V to straight to scoop, a V-plow can move up to 30% more snow and adapt to any situation at the touch of a button. But before you decide which V-plow is right for you, it's important for you to compare. So, we're here to compare two leading standard issue V-plows, the Western MVP Plus and the Boss Power VXT. While both offer V-plow versatility, they are not the same. Now let's take a look feature by feature, starting with the blade. The Boss Plow is taller at the edges, but efficiency starts where the plow meets the pavement. Western V plows are four inches wider than the comparable Boss model, and in the big parking lot, that extra four inches on every pass adds up. For reinforcement on the backside, Boss uses six vertical ribs and two diagonal ribs. Western has eight ribs, plus a unique power bar for extra torsional strength across the entire blade. But one of the most important differences you'll find between these two blades is when you strike that hidden obstacle, and it will happen. On February 15, 2012, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Wisconsin granted a preliminary injunction relating to certain Douglas Dynamics Western V-Plow snowplow advertisements. The court made a preliminary finding that, subject to final determination of the merits of the party's claims, statements that the Boss Power VXT V-Blade cannot trip in the V or scoop mode, and certain statements claiming or implying that users of blade trip plows will be physically injured, but users of western edge trip plows will not, were literally false. Accordingly, as preliminarily ordered by the court, Douglas Dynamics withdraws those advertising claims. The following series of comparison tests were conducted by Western. The reliability of the test's methodologies, which included measuring speed with a speedometer without any type of calibration or verification, and using three different truck models, although of a similar vehicle class, have been called into question. Comparison tests should be as similar as possible with as many variables controlled as possible, and the variables in Douglas Dynamics tests are not well controlled. As shown in this demonstration, Boss has a trip blade, which means the blade trips forward when you hit that obstacle. It protects your plow and truck. All Western V-plows, however, feature trip edge protection. When you hit that obstacle, the edge is free to trip. So, you get over bumps and obstacles, whether plowing in V, scoop, or straight blade configuration. Let's look at them both one more time. Which plow truck would you rather be in? One more thing on the trip feature. Boss uses extension springs, which stretch and require adjusting. Western uses compression springs, which never need adjusting and usually last the life of the plow. Now, take a look at Western's Ultralock double acting cylinders. They offer two distinct benefits. One, they lock the blade in place when you're back dragging. And two, they allow you to lock both of the wings together so you can easily maneuver your plow as a straight blade. Double acting cylinders are not standard on the Boss V plow. Since you cannot lock the wings together, the wings can collapse during bag dragging. The only solution is to purchase optional locking cylinders for several hundred dollars more. Now, let's take a look at the control features. The Western Control uses eight buttons to operate the plow, and the Boss uses five buttons. That's because Western offers important control features not found on the Boss. The MVP Plus provides one button for scoop and one button for V. Simple. The Boss V Plow requires that you push two separate wing buttons to move between scoop or V. With the Western V Plow, you can operate each wing independently or you can lock them together for straight blade operation. To angle left or right in straight blade mode, simply push left or right. Logical. You can't do that with Boss. Angling left or right on the Boss V-Plow, again, requires pushing two separate wing buttons. So, as you can see, more time-saving features with Western. Speaking of saving time, let's compare the speed of the hydraulics between the two plows. We'll time each plow running through the full cycle of positions and see which one gets done faster. Straight, raise, left, right, 
V, scoop, and lower. Western ran the circuit nearly 20% faster than Boss. All of these little things add up when you're out on the job. Oh, one more thing on the hydraulics. Western builds their own custom hydraulic systems, engineered for their plows, and each and every unit is performance tested on the plow before it leaves the factory. Another big difference between Western and Boss is in the lift system. Boss uses a hydraulic lift, so the height you can raise the plow for stacking is limited by the length of the hydraulic ram. Western uses a chain lift system, which is not limited by the lift cylinder stroke, so you can stack higher. How much higher? That's a big difference. It's a lot easier to stack it high when you have no restrictions. And because the chain lift system allows the plow to float up or down, it also hugs undulations and contours for a clean scrape. Another bonus with the chain lift system is that in the unlikely event of a malfunction, you can push the plow up into a snowbank and short chain it. So you can drive it back to the shop. When it comes to hooking up the plow, let's compare the drive-in alignment. Western has four and a half inch wide flared receiver brackets to help guide your truck into place, even if it's not perfectly aligned. Boss receiver brackets are only two and a half inches wide. Plus, the Western Ultramount system has a patented pivot bar, so even if the plow ends up on uneven pavement, the attachment points remain level for drive-in. The pivot bar also allows the plow to follow ground contours better. No other competitor, including Boss, has this feature. Western's pivot bar also promotes more even cutting edge wear. To complete the hookup, Boss has an electrical attaching system that uses electrical and hydraulic components to pull the plow into the truck. Western uses a simple one-piece connecting hook and stand to lock the plow into place. Since it's completely mechanical, there are no electrical or hydraulic components to fail. And finally, let's compare the ground clearance under the truck. Look how far Boss's hardware extends below the truck. With Western, simply by pulling a pin, the receiver brackets are removable, so you get more ground clearance whenever you need it. And when you're not using your plow, what about theft protection? Theft is a growing problem in the snowplow industry. The Western MVP Plus comes standard with an exclusive security guard anti-theft system. Simply enter your own personal code using the control and you can disable the electrical control system and render the plow inoperable to prevent theft or unauthorized use. Boss offers no such protection. Security Guard is part of Western's Fleet Flex electrical system that provides true fleet interchangeability plus additional programmable features like soft stop and one touch float. So when you look at the whole package feature by feature, wider blades, structural support, trip edge protection versus trip blade protection, compression springs versus extension springs, standard double acting cylinders for better back dragging in straight blade operation, faster hydraulics, chain lift system for higher stacking, proven ultra-mount mounting system, patented pivot bar, higher ground clearance, and exclusive security guard theft protection. Which plow do you think provides the better choice?